All right, these are the pants for tonight. Just had a great meal at Oyster Catchers. Jesus. Oh my God, it's <laughs> finding. <laughs> it's too dark not to use. Oh, the hello everybody! Hello. Very good, very good. Please, where are we going? We got We're the going best, back to the show. We got the <laughs> craziest Uber driver. Ever. Yes, hi, it's Mr. Kermis. Very good. You're from Latvia, right? You yes, are from Latvia. Latvia in the region. That's right. Yes, so I come from there. You and got I'm your native. You to the hotel. We will listen to beautiful music. <laughs> okay. Yes. And you met a friend from uh, Latvia, in fact, this... Uh, yes, Janis Irb, yes, with the Latvian speaker company. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, guys. It's Charles. <laughs> I'm not the Uber driver. I'm just someone driving the car. Yeah, so I thought we'd uh, do maximize our Uber mm -hmm. time here with a uh, synopsis of the day. Dave, what was your takeaway from today? <laughs> Just when we thought we were safe in the back seat. No, you know, you can't. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> It's never be. safe around here. <laughs> I I tell you, I really enjoyed it. You know, I at first I, a lot of the rooms sounded very pleasant and nothing really took me by surprise too much. But I have to say that uh, the Acora room, I, I really enjoyed the new Acora. The new Acora, okay, okay. Yeah. good, yeah. Now they had their seats marked, you know, as far as you know, good, awesome, and okay. the best. <laughs> okay. And when you sit in the best seat, that was the one. It was magic. Yeah. 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 Those, those big, they just completely uh -huh. disappeared in that big room. That's right. Okay. And then, well, I think about the blue we were talking about there. the 10th floor then. Now, things were just kind of good before we got to the 10th oh floor. And right. Those, those smaller speakers. Everything that was budget on that floor was yeah. really impressive. Exactly yeah. right. So, this was a show takeaway, at least for me, was budget stuff was performing really well, and there was a plentiful amount. From the MoFi to all of the tenth floor. Who was the one wrapped to the MoFi? Pagia? No. The uh, Diptyque. Uh, well, Diptyque. Diptyque's a little bit more expensive, but then we also had the Q Acoustics in a couple of rooms. Yeah. That was even better budget. And then we had the Falcon, the LS35A type ones that were very good. And there was a room with the fellow who's playing like real music. Yeah, real hard rock and roll. That well, was that was Piega, but that's a little Piega. more. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a little more yeah. expensive. It, it is. It's a plasma yeah. tweeter. Yeah. Uh, the it's a coaxial ribbon, which oh, is was, very unique. Yeah, yeah. Right. and I think we saw that one right after the Mofi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that whole source floor, uh, the Source Point Ten, is of course really a giant killer that was at my that first price. time hearing that. Yeah, for I, for four thousand dollars. Yeah, it's a no, no brainer. No, for me, looking at it, I just have a hard time looking at a speaker that looks like a box. Yeah. Because I I don't like box looking. Normally, yeah. Uh huh. And, and but Slide it didn't right sound like what it looked 60s. like. Yeah. yeah, I think the budget rooms were like the most the, the enjoyable. biggest takeaway. Yeah, the yeah. biggest takeaway. I mean, I didn't see all the rooms yet, but uh, that you don't have to spend a gazillion dollars to have audiophile quality, quality. enjoyable, yeah. even yeah. audio. Yeah. And even it's the Gishelli, uh, Gishelli with that, uh, they're going into two channel. Yep. They're doing a <laughs> the carved wood chassis is amazing at that yeah, price point. Right. We saw that last year. They were just doing what, headphones. Headphones uh, stuff. Now they're into yeah. two channel. So this was definitely a show for budget-minded audiophiles to find high-quality systems. And even the Margulis um, electronics are pretty um, economic. The Rido speakers are expensive. But, uh, yeah, for any bu budget point, you, could, you found stuff that I think would be worthwhile. Yep. Um, so that was your biggest that's takeaway. So that's far. your takeaway. Yeah. Yep, day one. All right, and Charles, you sold some uh, record cleaners today, huh? Yep, number seven today was great. And by the way, I love the the Margulis package. It's it's uh, you know everyone says oh made in Mexico and whatever. I mean, he's a genius, just like Kevin over at uh, VAC. Yep, okay. just just great. All right, well thanks guys. Now we're back to the hotel. We're gonna keep listening. Uh, let's see. 